In this video, we will see how to install Calyptus Notify and set up the necessary environment to allow Calyptus to connect to ClickSense. Calyptus Notify is a ClickSense extension that uses Calyptus Server Engine. In this video, we will install Calyptus Server in a separate machine. However, you can install Calyptus Server on the same machine where ClickSense is installed. But keep in mind that the machine's resources will be shared between them. We will see the following. Have the necessary rights to connect to ClickSense. Open ports of ClickSense services. Export ClickSense certificates. Install and configure Calyptus Notify. First, connect to the machine where ClickSense is installed and open the QMC. Make sure that the user who will run Calyptus server has a ClickSense license. The user must also be in the same domain where ClickSense is installed. Then, to allow Calyptus server to connect to ClickSense server, open inbound ports 4747 where the ClickSense engine service is installed and ports 4242 and 4243 where the ClickSense repository and ClickSense proxy services are installed. In our case, all ClickSense services are installed on this machine. We will open these ports on this machine. To enable the generation of reports from ClickSense, you must export ClickSense certificates and install them on the machine where Calyptus server is installed. To export ClickSense certificates, go to Certificates page. Add the name of the machine where Calyptus server is installed. You can find this information in the properties of the machine. Leave the certificate password and retype password fields blank. Check the Include Secret Key checkbox. Then click Export Certificates. Now certificates are exported. We will copy them to the machine where Calyptus server is installed and we will use them in the installation process. When you download Calyptus Notify and decompress the file, you will see two things, the extension Calyptus Notify and the installation file of Calyptus Server. Let's start by installing Calyptus Server. Double-click on Calyptus Server Setup. Accept the End User License Agreement. Select the Installation folder. Then click Install. Calyptus Server is now installed. Let's do the first configuration. Click Finish to open Calyptus Server configuration. Enter the credentials of the user that will run Calyptus Server. Very important, the user must be an administrator and the same as the one running the current session. You can change the default port of Calyptus Server Service. You can use HTTPS if you have a valid SSL certificate installed on this machine. Click Next. Now configure the database of your Calyptus Server instance. Enter a username and a password. Then click Next. To use Calyptus Server with ClickSense Server, we need to install ClickSense certificates. Select the certificates exported previously.
Then click Install Certificates. Click Next. Click Install to complete the installation and start Calyptus services. Now click Open Calyptus Server. You do not need a license key to use Calyptus Notify. During the first 30 days, you have access to all the functionalities of Calyptus Server to create, generate, and distribute personalized reporting in standard format such as PDF, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, HTML, and etc. Here you can enter your license key that you can find in your Calyptus account. Enter the admin user information. Click Next. Click Setup. The installation is now finished. To allow access to Calyptus Server, we need to open the port of Calyptus Service. Open Inbound Port 3994 for Calyptus Server Service. If you change the default port in the configuration process, open the port you have chosen. We will now configure an SMTP server so that Calyptus can distribute reports by email and inform users. In the Calyptus administration menu, click on System. Click on the button Configure a new SMTP mail server. Enter a name. Add a description if you wish. Enter the sending email address that will be used to send the emails. It is possible to add a prefix to the subject of emails. Enter the address of your SMTP server here. Add the port. Check this box for SSL. If necessary, enter the username and password of the SMTP account. Enter an email address to test the sending of emails. Click Test Connection. If the connection is successful, click Save. For security reasons, you must add the address of your ClickSense server as the authorized origin. If you use two addresses with HTTP and HTTPS, you must create two trusted origins. Now we will import the extension Calyptus Notify to ClickSense. Back to your QMC. Go to Extensions. Click Import. Select the Calyptus Notify zip file. Now the extension is imported. Let's use Calyptus Notify. Open your ClickSense application and open a sheet.
click on the Edit button. Drag and drop Calyptus Notify. You can change the appearance of the button in the Appearance menu. Enter the address of Calyptus Server. Note that if your ClickSense uses HTTPS, the URL of your Calyptus server must begin with HTTPS. Click Test Connection. And there you go! Now you can start subscribing to your ClickSense sheets and apps. Thank you for watching this video. You can see Calyptus Notify in action in other videos.